This is a teardown of a Cisco WS-C3560CG-8PC-S switch. This is a passively cooled 8-port PoE switch. I don't believe this is PoE Plus though. And it also has an additional, looks like two ports. Those must be shared in this case for uh, uplink. And as you can see, the switch is kind of dirty. Unfortunately, I believe this is residue from cockroaches. So I want to take it apart, give it a good looking, and uh, cleaning, hopefully. Although, with the size of the holes, I don't think it's going to be an issue. I don't think there's going to be anything more than just the residue that's external. Which will be good, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I figured if anything gives me a chance to pop it open and take a little look. I don't know when the other video will be going up, but I'm also tearing down a newer version of the Switch. And it's the 8 port variant with PoE Plus, if memory serves correct. Alright, so this cover should just slide off, but it looks like there's some more screws in the back. Also, it looks like some of these fins are just ever so slightly bent. Uh, I'm just going to live with that. <laughs> yeah, this switch is not very clean, unfortunately. The other ones I have like this are pretty good looking though. I'll probably sell this one separately due to its poor cosmetics. Alrighty. Now, oh that's cool. Oh, that's not a good sign either. Uh, yeah, this uh, top is aluminum. Stamped and then um, bent and it looks like this little tab which holds the back in place is um, ah, not spot welded might be spot I've, I'm drawing a blank right now on the term where you have two two electrodes that pinch down over a piece of metal to weld a point but you can see the the points where it's been welded along with dead cockroach carcasses which is fantastic Otherwise, it's pretty clean on the inside. Look at this. My own. Eye. Oh no, nope, I lied. That's gross. There's like cockroach guts. I really wish I had an ultrasonic cleaner. And this is not going to be a destructive teardown because I'm going to sell this. I'll say that with great apprehension. <laughs> Oh god. And spiders. Oh man. So this is a passively cooled switch. So no airflow, no uh deterrence to stop critters from crawling inside. I'm surprised though with this tiny openings that stuff was still able to get in there. So you got power supply right here. It's kind of uh wedged in the open space they have giant heat sinks on the uh, power transistors and some cooling for cpus and whatnot and there is some additional cooling on the um, sfp ports since those modules tend to generate heat because uh for the most part they're active components that you put in the switch but yeah this will be as far as I'm getting into this unfortunately I just wanted to see what the state of the interior is I'm probably gonna have to scrub this with some uh, rubbing alcohol on a toothbrush because um, there's zoom maybe that don't look good although some of that greasy residue <laughs> no Maybe not. I was going to say some of that greasy residue is probably from a thermal pad. 
But I think this is dead bugs. So, uh, yeah. I don't know what the fate of this one is. <laughs> I might sell it locally. <laughs> uh, I'll test it, make sure it's not bad, uh, obviously. But, um, I, yeah, I don't like the looks of this switch. Which is kind of sad, but I don't think these are worth that much. But, um, yeah, I guess that's really all there is to show. Um, get a good view of the model number of the power supply, I guess, for those who are interested. Made by Delta in this case. NPS-173BP. Hmm. Different model number on that component there, I think. I think that's a filter cap. Kind of funny. That's a Cisco part number there, the 341-0407-01. And they just kind of stuck it on the capacitor because they didn't have more better to put it. Because if they would have put it on this aluminum plate, then it would have actually might be steel. I don't know. Don't feel like sticking my magnet to it. But um if they would have put it on this metal plate, it would have gotten rubbed off by the top cover. But yeah, kind of a neat design. Shame this one didn't uh live in the best of environments but uh either way hopefully that's interesting and thanks for watching